makes fun of my play skills with them. Dead in 30 seconds. Dead in 60 seconds. Wasn't that a Nicolas Cage movie? Or am I just thinking of his career? Gone in 60 seconds. About how his career is diminished over the plate. He's still making movies. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's got to pay for that pyramid somehow. Pyramid? Yeah, he bought a pyramid. Really? Yeah. He wants to be buried in it. It's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> hey, if I had the money, I would build a pyramid for myself. Well, I'll be a... not a thing. Okay! You blown it, you fucking freak! I think they found you. Have you tried talking to them? Yeah, but I owe the left one money. Oh. And he's not a very forgiving kind of asshole. Nah, I lost him again. Nice. Oh yeah, he's a slippery bastard. You're like Batman, right. problem. Batman. <laughs> there you go. Couldn't think of the name. You know how you're always up about um, the Dark Knight Returns? Yeah. Did you know they made a, uh, Frank Miller wrote a sequel for it? Yeah, he he's actually uh, getting ready to produce it soon. The Dark Knight Strikes Again. You ever read it? No. Don't. Why? It's awful. I heard that he was getting ready to release a new sequel to that. Like an actual just new sequel. Just the inevitable! Oh my released a sequel in like the early 2000s when Frank Miller was all you know, all post 9-11 ish and hey, hating on Muslims and just everyone. Was just Batman taking down Arabs? No, that's Holy Terror. That's another comic book that uh, Frank Miller wrote who it was supposed to be Batman but DC was like fuck no, you cannot use Batman in this position, it would make him look really bad. He got bold. Yeah, Batman's not a fucking racist. God, no. <laughs> Frank Miller has issues with Wonder Woman and Catwoman. Like, everything he has Wonder Woman and Superman in, they always fuck. Always. Well, that's how it should be. Her womb is the only thing that can handle his all-powerful seed. But she, yeah, he, Frank Miller does explain it that way, but it's just handled so poorly. Well, I don't give a shit, because the man wrote my favorite comic of all time, which is The Dark Knight Returns. I don't give a shit what anyone says. That comic is perfect from start to finish. I love every single minute of it. I will admit, I haven't read the comic, but I watched the, uh, the, the two the things. Animated. The, the animated uh, are honestly... Point for point, the same as the comic. And I thought they were fantastic. They were, they are, they are exact adaptations. I mean, even some of the the frames from the the comic, hmm. you know, are, are some of the stills in the movie. You know, it's it's just it, like I can't remember what that guy's name is who made those two animated, but uh, he he just did it such a wonderful job. And Peter Weller as Batman is just so good. <laughs> yeah, Peter Weller, man. Man's got such a stern, authoritative voice, okay. mm -hmm. and I like it. <clears throat> I was watching a documentary about uh, urban architecture. He was one of the uh, one of the uh, official figures to to talk about it because he has a PhD in Roman architecture. Really? Yeah. Man's very learned. I think he has more than one PhD. It's like James Franco. I just don't find James Franco all that intelligent, to be honest. Yeah, he really doesn't come off all that intelligent. No, he does not. But that could just be his, like, acting face. I don't mean that. I mean his personality. Like, the way he actually comes out in public. Like, I don't know. I was a part of James Franco's Facebook page for a while. And, like, while Dave Franco, his brother, is posting links to, like, you know, charities and organizations and trying to raise awareness for good causes, you know, James just posts selfies of him in a towel. You know, like... 
that's all he does. Hmm. It's just selfies. Just, hey, aren't I pretty? Dude, there's more in the world than your pretty face. Granted, it is a pretty face, but still. There's quite enough pictures of it already, good <laughs> sir. I'm just saying. I would love to chill with James Franco. I think he'd be so cool, but I also think he could do more with his his influence and his popularity. And he could definitely set himself up to look better at times. Yeah, yeah. Like show up in documentaries. That'd be fun. Yeah. Or just post more than selfies. Honestly, that would that would do it for me. I'm not asking much. Am I? Hey, am I? No. Exactly. Like he could post three selfies. But for every three selfies he posts, he posts a link to some YouTube video that's all about science and shit. There you go. That would be actually quite awesome. Yeah. There you go, James Franco. Get we in. just boosted your career. We really did. That's that's on us. We're so awesome. That's on the house. We are so you can have that for free. I'm just like the best person in the world. Dude, we'd make awesome community managers. <laughs> Barbara Duckerman, watch out. Or on to you. Do you have a Twitter? No, I don't like Twitter. Oh. You won't yeah, I'm kind of there too. The Not really liking it. I do have a Twitter account. And I got no one following me, and I don't. I think I only follow one person. Yeah, fuck Twitter. Got on there to follow Pat Oswalt, and then he like got off Twitter like within like a, a month. So I was like, mm, nope. I want the <laughs> Christ, Cash, use some cunning, some guile. Oh, you have to be cunning. Cunning, like the women folks. Hey, you're gonna pay for that. He died by getting kicked in the balls. Yes, he did. That was the final stroke. A horrible way to go. That was the straw that broke the camel's back, was a swift kick in the balls. <laughs> just just imagine a, like, a scene. Sandy, there's, there's, a, there's a camel with like a bag full of straw on it. And it's, it's really tired, but it's still walking. Then just a guy in a suit walk, runs up, kicks it in the balls, runs away, and the camel just falls over dead. That's what I pictured. <laughs> Where am I? He was so glitchy. Did you ever play Bully? Bully? No, I, I have thought about playing it. I started playing it. It was pretty good, but it was just too old by the time I got it. Yeah. I was really interested in, like, Rockstar's other works other than Grand Theft Auto. I tried Red Dead, Redem uh, Red Dead Redemption. Couldn't really get into it. Oh, that game is amazing. One of the best playthroughs I've ever had. You've been born again! So, I mean, seriously, once I beat Hallelujah. that game, I, to this day, I couldn't, I have never been able to play it again. I've tried a couple of times, but couldn't get more than five minutes into it. But that first time I played it, I just, I was in love and totally immersed. I was a cowboy for, like, two weeks. You met God and killed Sasquatch? Kill what? Did you meet God and kill Sasquatch? I don't think I killed Sasquatch, but I don't remember if I met God. He was a man in a top hat. Told you this is where you're gonna die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's God. Oh, okay. And you can kill Sasquatch in that game. You can actually kill Sasquatch in most of their games. <clears throat> Sasquatch is in San Andreas, and I'm pretty sure he's in 5, isn't he? Um, it's never been proven that he's been in San Andreas. Like, there's no there's no file in, this, in the game archive that says, this is Sasquatch. There's been, like, no official, there's been mods for it. But officially, he's not in it. In Grand Theft Auto V, it's a man in a suit. But still. But in Red Dead Redemption, he is, it is Sasquatch, and he's the last Sasquatch, and you hunt him down, he's like, Human, you've killed all my kind. Finish it here and now. And, and you shoot him. And you kill him. And he's the last Sasquatch. Damn it. And Red, Red Dead Redemption is in the same universe as Grand Theft Auto. 
So that that is the last Sasquatch, supposedly. Oh god! 